Hey everyone, yesterday we talked about comparing fractions when the denominators, the number on the bottom, right, was the same. So we talked about these are in the same number of pieces. Today we're going to compare fractions when the numerators are the same. So you'll notice both of these fractions have three on the top, but the numbers on the bottom are different. Okay. So we're going to compare using those fraction circle pieces from yesterday. Okay. If the numerators are the same, you have to really stop and think about this. Right? The alligator is going to eat the smaller denominator. So this is going to be the bigger fraction. Remember we said as the denominator gets bigger, the pieces get smaller. Okay? So you're going to want to have three pieces that are one-fourth size instead of three pieces that are one-eighth size. And we're going to show you that in just a second using those fraction circles. So this is a little confusing. You really have to think about it. Okay, When the numerators are the same, the bigger fraction is going to be the smaller denominator. Okay, let me show you. I'll prove it. We're going to go back to page 255. And remember yesterday we worked on 1 through 3 using those circles at the top. So today we're going to do 4, 5, and then 6 I already have written, so I have that kind of just covered up for now. So focus on number 4. Okay, we're going to compare 3 fourths and 3 eighths. So you'll notice that this time, right, the numerators are the same, the numbers on top. So I've got 3 fourths. It's going to look like this. There's one of them, two, here's my three-fourths, right? My unit fractions are one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. That equals three-fourths. And I'm going to compare that to three-eighths. So I'm going to use the same number of pieces, but the size of those pieces are going to be different, right? Here's an eighth. Here's a second one eighth, and here's a third one eighth. So one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth equals three eighths. So look with your eyes when we're comparing those three fourths compared to three eighths. Well, I would rather have a pizza that has three fourths instead of three eighths, right? I think we automatically think that bigger number is going to be more pizza, but actually, the smaller denominator is more pizza because it's a bigger slice of pizza, right? These two pizzas are cut into the same size circle, right? It's the same size pizza. This one is cut in four pieces. This one is cut in eight, right? So these pieces are smaller. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the piece. Okay, so you have to remember that. Three-fourths is greater than three-eighths, and here's our proof. This is why you're going to want to have these fraction circles available to you when we're doing homework, doing quizzes, doing tests. You'll be able to use them when we have things like that, okay? It's hard for me to remember, so I want you to be able to use these as well. Now, we're going to try this one, 5 eighths and 5 six. So I'm going to move my green pieces off. Now I'm going to find 5 eight pieces. I already have three of them right there. Here's my fourth one. Here's my fifth one. Right? One eighth, five eighths. I've got them all together. Now I need to find five sixths. Okay, here's one of them. Two sixths, three sixths, four sixths and five six. Okay, you might think that the eighths are more, but those are smaller pieces, right? Because that pizza is cut into more pieces than this one is. So if I'm going to compare five eighths to five six, I'm going to say in my sentence five eighths is less than, right, or smaller than five six. And here's my proof, right? I have more pieces of pizza on this one than I do on the pink one. OK, 
Okay, so when we're comparing fractions with the same numerator, right, you have to really look at them and think about that. Okay, I highlighted again, I circled it, and I highlighted same numerator. When we're comparing with the same numerator, right, five pieces to five pieces or six pieces to six pieces, the fraction that has the lesser denominator, the smaller number, is actually the greater fraction. Let me zoom that in so you can see it. I know there's a bit of a, a glare there. Okay, The fraction with the lesser denominator, so the lower denominator, 6 is lower than 8. Right? That's actually the greater fraction. This would be the bigger fraction because those pieces are bigger. So you have the same number of pieces, but because these pieces are cut into fewer slices, you actually get more, okay? So the fraction with the lesser denominator is the greater fraction. And I pointed here, lesser means the smaller number, right? Six is less than eight, okay? It's hard to think about because it's opposite of how our brain works, right? Eight's more than six, so that's got to be bigger. But not in the case of fractions because we're comparing the size of those fractions. So remember, I'll put this little chart uh, in our math resources. It will be available for you. Okay, If both of your numerators are the same, right? the bigger fraction is going to be the smaller denominator because these pieces are larger than these pieces, right? So I'll have this available for you to use. Okay, make sure you copy all of this down, four, five, and six, before you start to do your homework for today, right? Take your time. 